Bunga dudes and dudettes, this is Anthony, aka Batbomb82, and today I'll be doing a review of the Power Rangers Lightning Collection, In Space Blue Ranger, and Psycho Silver Ranger 2 Pack. Now, taking a look at the front, we can see that the figures are showcased in a large scale window box packaging with really great artwork of both Rangers on the sides. Turning the box around, we can't see a great image of both figures battling it out. So with the box out of the way, let's crack these figures open and let them breathe. All right guys, now let's take a closer look at this In Space 2 pack with In Space Blue and Psycho Silver. So I'm gonna start off with my boy TJ here. First of all, just getting TJ really makes me want Turbo, man. I love Power Rangers Turbo, uh, so this really makes me want that. But it's really cool getting another member of In Space. Uh, we're getting really close to finishing this team. You know, Psychers, uh, excuse me, In Space Silver is coming out very, very soon. Uh, we already have In Space Pink that should be uh, c coming out soon too. I think that one was delayed a little bit, uh, but still, we're gonna get the whole team, and I love that. Uh, so this looks really cool, man. I love the bright blue that we are getting here let me darken this up just a little bit you can see that a little bit better but i think it looks great man the little squares on the chest look pretty good the black has a little bit of smudge on there nothing terrible uh but it's pretty basic you know the in space suits weren't all that crazy detailed uh you know basic white gloves basic white boots but still looking very cool i always love the helmets i always thought those were really nice you got the little like vents on the side there looking really good Mine has a little bit of a white spot on there, but I can get that off with an exacto knife. So, still looking very, very good. Okay, so now we're gonna check out his accessories here. Uh, we do get interchangeable hands. You see he does have a gripping hand right there. We also do get a karate chopping hand. We get a closed fist for his left side, and then another gripping hand for his right side, or left side. Yeah, this is the left. Yeah, the other one was for the right. Sorry, I'm reversed here. Oh, we also do get the InSpace little blaster here, which I do love. I think that's really cool. I think the detail on this gun is so well done. I love the amount of paint apps that we're getting. It's just not designed in a solid color. The silvers, blue, red, gold, all looking very nice. And of course, he can holster that in his little pouch right there at his side. Uh, we also do get his axe. Gotta have his axe right here. Go ahead and pop that in the hand. And I think that looks really cool too. Uh, super glad that they're coming with their more signature weapons. I'm always in favor of that. That looks really, really good. And then we also do get this effect piece that we've seen before. Uh, you can kind of just stick the blade in like that, and then boom, you got a nice blast effect like that when they're you know hitting the bad guys. So I love that. I always love that we get so many effect pieces with all of these figures. And then of course, uh, we do get the TJ head, which looks you know, pretty good. I don't think it looks terrible, but I think it looks pretty good. I do like it. Again, this makes me really want Turbo, man. So hopefully that's soon because I really, really want that team. And we haven't had a single Turbo yet, which is a little surprising. But still, I really enjoy the way that looks. Okay, so now let's run down his articulation real quick. It's the basic figure, you know, and we'll get all the figures. Uh, we do get a disc hinge that goes up and down like so. Does left and right. Uh, rolls around a tiny bit, a little bit of head wobbling, not a whole lot. Arms can go full 360 up and out that far, which is really nice. Butterfly joint in there, rotation at the bicep, double jointed elbows, rotation at the wrist, as well as a hinge at the wrist. We get a ball peg in the midsection that rolls around, does turn left and right, crunches back and forth, pivot side to side, as well as a separate ab crunch that goes all the way forward, all the way back. Hip joints that kick forward that far, back not so much, splits out that far, rotation in the upper thigh. We got double jointed knees that kick himself in his own butt, uh, rotation at the boot, ankles go up down and a sweet ankle rocker so articulation works really good super happy to get tj blue in space such a badass figure next up we have psycho silver yup 
Psycho Silver is actually here. Uh, I guess now this technically kind of sort of uh, finishes up our Psycho team, which I think, and correct me if I'm wrong, but off the top of my head, I think this is only the second team to be complete in the Lightning Collection because I know we cl completed uh, Mighty Morphin. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure there are any others, so I'm pretty sure Psycho is the second team to finally be complete. And now I say technically, kinda sorta, because Psycho Silver isn't really kinda, not sorta, really uh, an actual Psycho Ranger. Uh, this is what, how was his name? Zane, I told, I'm slipping my mind right now. Uh, was just, spoiler alert, for a show that's almost 20 years old. Um, he, this was just the In Space Silver Ranger, I believe, disguising himself as a Psycho Ranger. Um, so yeah, so it was really just a, a, a ruse, I guess, uh, to pretend to be a bad guy, when in reality, he was really a good, good guy the whole time. So I think that's super cool, man. So again, he, Kinda is sorta a Psycho Ranger, but kinda sorta not, so it really depends on what you wanna do, but still, this technically completes the full Psycho team, which I'm all about. I always love the sculpt of these particular figures. The Psycho team has such a cool, unique look. Uh, and then seeing it done with the silver in there, and the boots and the gloves, and that crazy like bat-like armor just looks awesome, man. The helmet looks really great. I love all the folding and texturing in the entire suit looking incredible super stoked to finally get this one and again second team that we've completed in the lightning collection that's pretty awesome and i'm surprised it's the psychos of all teams okay so let's run down his accessories now uh we do get interchangeable hands here we got a gripping hand on his right side and a closed fisted hand on his left we also do get another gripping hand for his left uh and then we get that uh, electricity shooting hand that we see for all the other Psycho Rangers for his right side with the green electricity coming out like that. So that's really cool. We also do get the unhelmeted head uh, right there, which looks pretty good, I think. I think that's actually pretty awesome. Uh, I'm not, I can't remember if the In Space Silver comes with this exact same head or if it's a different sculpt. I'm not really sure. Um, I'll try and look that up afterwards. But it looks really nice. I love the hair. Uh, again, they're sometimes hit or miss with these head sculpts, the unhelmeted head sculpts. But I think that's pretty decent. I've seen way worse. So that's pretty cool. But of course, we ha also have to have his Psycho Silverizer, I guess we'll call it. I'm not sure if that's exactly what it was called. I can't remember. But that looks awesome, man. The uh, sword that doubles as a blaster. I think it looks so good. Those bat wings coming out the back. The gold in there, the silver fades into the black, looks really good. I love having that, man. Super, super happy about this. I could not be more pleased. I think he turned out great. Okay, so now running down his articulation, if you haven't seen any of the cycles before, uh, we do get a disc hinge in there up and down. Uh, it is a little hindered with the collar around here, so it's not that uh, all that great. Could be better. Does turn left and right, wobbles around a little bit. Arms and go full 360, up and out that far, as well as a really nice butterfly joint in there, a rotation at the bicep, we got double jointed elbows, rotation at the wrist, as well as a hinge at the wrist, a uh, ball peg in the midsection, rolls all the way around, left and right, all that stuff, back and forth, with it, as well as an ab crunch that goes all the way forward, all the way back, very, very nice. Hip joints that kick forward that far, uh, back not so much, splits about that far, rotation in the upper thigh, uh, we got double jointed knees, um, but the boots on this these figures are kind of thick, so you can't kick himself in his own butt. Uh, we do get rotation at the boot, ankles go up, down, and a very sweet ankle rocker. So overall, I could not be more happy. Super stoked. I picked up the set. We're getting closer to completing In Space. We completed the Psychos. And that's always one thing I'm super stoked about with the Lightning Collection, when we're starting to see the teams build and we're completing teams and seeing the teams together on the shelf, I think is a super cool feeling. Love both of these pieces. And in my opinion, they would look great in your Lightning Collection collection. So for a quick size comparison, here they are standing next to a Marvel Legends Deadpool and NECA Batman figure. Also for comparison, here is In Space Blue standing with the rest of the Lightning Collection In Space figures that we have so far. Also for comparison, 
Here's Psycho Silver standing next to the rest of the Lightning Collection Psycho Rangers. And just for fun, here they are with Little Lego Bat Bomb. So there it is guys, my review of the Lightning Collection In Space Blue vs Psycho Silver 2 pack. Now overall I think this is a great set because it gets us close to another team that we're getting really close to completing that in the In Space team. But it also completes a whole nother team being of the Psycho Rangers which is really great. I think TJ came out amazing, the colors look great, I actually really dig the unhelmeted sculpt and I love the fact that he comes with his axe, but Psycho Silver man, that is one I was really hoping we were going to get and he's here and again completes the Psycho team as a whole and he looks awesome, it really makes me just angst to get the new in space silver ranger himself because i think it's going to be an awesome figure so hopefully that'll be hitting the states here soon cannot wait to pick that up love both of these pieces and i think they are definitely a must get so be excellent to each other and stay nerdy my friends peace to have you, and so am I. May the power protect you always.